Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make raspberry fudge brownies. They're fudgy brownies baked with a homemade raspberry sauce and topped with melted chocolate. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So let's get started. First, we're going to make the raspberry sauce. To make this easier, you can just use raspberry preserves instead, but this raspberry sauce is super easy to make, so why not make it? In a small saucepan, add in the frozen raspberries, cornstarch, lemon juice, and sugar and place the saucepan onto the stove over medium-high heat and heat it until it comes to a boil, stirring it occasionally. Once it's boiling, stir it constantly for another 30 seconds so it thickens. Then take it off the heat, pour it into a small jar or an airtight container, and place it into the fridge until it's cold. To make the fudge brownies, preheat the oven to 350 degrees, then into a small saucepan, add in the butter, and heat it on the stove over medium heat until it's melted. Then add in the bittersweet chocolate and mix it until it's melted. Then take it off the heat and set it aside to cool. Then into a large bowl, add in the eggs that are at room temperature, sugar, and vanilla extract and whip them with an electric mixer on medium speed for one minute until it's light, thick, and pale. Then pour in the cooled chocolate mixture. Make sure it's cooled to room temperature before adding it in or it might cook the eggs. and mix it in just until it's combined. Then into a sifter over the bowl, add in the flour, baking powder, and salt. Sift the ingredients into the bowl, and fold them in until it's just combined. You don't want to overmix the batter. Lightly grease an 8 or 9 inch square pan. Pour about 3 quarters of the batter into the pan. Spread it out until it's even. And bake it in the oven for 10 minutes. Remove it from the oven. Add spoonfuls of the raspberry sauce over the top of it and spread it out. And here's the measurement if you're using raspberry preserves instead. Spoon the rest of the brownie batter all over the top of it and spread it out until it's even. Then place it back into the oven and bake it for another 20 to 30 minutes until a toothpick inserted into the center comes out clean. When it's done, remove it from the oven and sprinkle the chopped milk chocolate or chocolate chips all over the top. Let it sit for 5 minutes to let the chocolate melt. Then spread it all over. 
Shake and tap the pan a few times to level out the top. Then let them cool for longer. And you can serve them still warm or completely cooled. Obviously, it would have to be completely cooled for the chocolate on top to set, but feel free to serve it however you like. And that's how to make raspberry fudge brownies. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like, and check out my channel for many more videos, and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.